Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you guys how to make a boring to-do list like this turn into something more visually appealing that's going to make you want to do your tasks more and it's going to make you more efficient in knowing what you have done or not. So first, we're just going to get rid of all of these status for the tasks that say done or not done. Delete. And next, like the title of the video suggests, we're going to click the insert tab and then click on checkbox. So now the whole range we had highlighted is full of checkboxes. As you can see, you can click a checkbox to fill it in, or you can click it again to make it go back to normal. Now we have all the proper cells checked to denote which tasks we have completed in our to-do list. And you may think that this is it for the video, but I don't really like how this looks yet. So what I'm going to want to do is highlight this entire range, including both the task and status header. Then I'm going to go to Format and select Alternating Colors. As you can see, when I first select Alternating Colors, our header now has a dark gray fill, and every other row in our range has a light gray fill. So as you can see, there are different styles, default styles, that you can choose from here. You can choose this blue, green, yellow, orange, and so on. You can also create your own styles down here. So if I go into header, say I want this green to be my header. I like this color a lot. I use it for a lot of different things. And then color two, usually you'll select a lighter color and leave color one white. But you can also mess around with it, make it yellow and green alternating. I don't think this looks particularly good, but you can do whatever you want with this. Now, it may be worth noting that you can do this without the header if you just want to do alternating colors in a range without having that top uh, darker section. Or you can even select a footer and then make that its own color. There's a lot of different things you can do with this. We are going to deselect the footer and leave the header for this to-do list. One other thing I want to mention is that to make your to-do list stand out a little bit more, something I like to do, so I will highlight the entire range, go up to the borders section, and then select all borders. I just think this adds another element to make your spreadsheet look better than others. I'm also going to highlight our header, task and status cells, and change the text color to white. I think this looks a little bit better. Some people like the black. It depends on the background color, of course. But for that, we're done with decorating the sheet and making it look good. So we're gonna click done on alternating colors. And I have one more thing to add to our spreadsheet that is really gonna make it special. Maybe I want to track how many of our tasks we have completed or what percentage, and you can do that with a few different formulas. First, I'd like to note that when you click on the cell of a checkbox, you can see in our function bar that the value returns as true if it's checked off and false if it's not checked off. We'll remember that in a moment. So we're going to click under all these cells here and start entering our count if function. We'll hit equals, type in count if open our parentheses, highlight the range we want to count, add a comma, and we're going to count if the cells are checked off by doing quotations and typing in true the value for a checked off cell. We hit enter and we see that six of our statuses are checked off as being complete. And say you don't want the number but you want the percentage, you can alter this formula by going back into the function bar, selecting, and then what we're going to do is just make it divided by 10, hit enter, click back on this, you see 0 0.6, we want this as a percentage, click back on this cell and hit format as percent. Then with cleaning it up a little bit, we can highlight here, add our borders back, make it the proper color, maybe it's a footer color now. We'll make the text white, we'll make it bold. We're gonna type in here, percentage. And now we have a completed spreadsheet that shows the percentage and it works really well. Um, for example, if I just did my reading to finish another task, we'll check that off and the percentage jumps up to 70%, really cool. And with that, you now have what it takes to make your own to-do list spreadsheet. You can track all the tasks you need to complete, complete them, and see your progress in a visually appealing way. I challenge you to go do it and leave a comment letting me know how it goes. I hope you learned something from this video, and as always, thanks for watching.